this is Artifacts of Mars. I wish I had better news for you. Uh, this is from the Associated Press. Uh, you're actually looking at Huffington Post. So you uh, reported it. And Ted Cruz was at a uh, Second Amendment event. And a series of photos was taken by AP's Charlie Niebergall showing uh, Cruz with the photos around the wall and the guns pointing right at his head. There was a series of 14 photos, apparently five of them from the AP. were published, including uh, images of guns seen on the walls of the pier and pistols were pointed at Senator Ted Cruz's head. The images were not intended to portray Senator Cruz in negative light. Hogwash! You, sir, are a liar. AP's Vice President and Director of Media Relations, Paul Colford, issued the following statement. The one I just read. Uh, Mr. Paul Colford, sir, you are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. 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 From what I said, uh, this has caused such a backlash that I guess they're not selling the photos anymore, but uh, damage has been done. To me, this is an overt threat against Ted Cruz, and I'm not taking that back. That's how I see it. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Ted Cruz, but for a news organization to essentially be making a threat against a presidential candidate is beyond belief. WHERE THE HELL IS THE FBI?! This photographer should receive a visit from the FBI! Good God, people. Now, uh, images also been contrasted with images like this one from of Obama. I'm going to show that. This one's on Breitbart. So, Obama gets a halo over his head, and Cruz gets a bun gun pointed at his head. This is beyond belief. Where the hell is FBI? Why is FBI not going to Charlie Niebergall's door and arresting him? He needs to be investigated. He needs to be investigated, interviewed by the FBI. Why are you making threats against Ted Cruz? Don't you know that's illegal? That's what they're doing. Is they're making threats. I don't care. Maybe they don't intend to carry him out, but that's a threat in my book. You don't make a picture like this by accident. I'm going to calm down, but you got to, this organization, oh my God, I'm not going to uh, put a, uh, I, I'm not going to use them anymore, the threatening, you know, Ted Cruz like this. I said, I'm not as big, biggest political fan or anything. I'm kind of holding back and waiting to see. I can afford to wait because what I'll do is I'll wait for the uh, uh, crowd to thin out. And, Cause I'm not in a political party. Where the hell is FBI? Why are the FBI, why is the FBI not going to AP headquarters and saying, okay, you're going to open up your records 
This is a threat against Ted Cruz. Why did he make it? They ought to be shut down is what ought to happen. Now you may think I'm making a mountain out of mobile no I'm not. This is this is definitely I wouldn't even call it a veiled threat. I'd say it's a pretty open threat to be honest. So why in the hell I guess there's uh, no law anymore not to speak of. I don't know, I'm furious. AP puts a hail over Obama's head and points a gun to at uh, Cruz's head. This is not uh, an accident. Utterly utter BS. This picture just shows you the objectivity of the mainstream media. Fox and Friends host Steve Ducey said Monday morning, just imagine if you were to take that image of Ted Cruz with a revolver right now of it right at his head and place Ted Cruz with Barack Obama. I bet the Associated Press would not put that out. You got that right. They would not put out Fox News Elizabeth Hasselbeck agreed. If they did, the photo editor would be fired. Ducey said. Well, that's about it for this one. This is despicable and evil. I'm going to try to get a hold of uh, AP and let them know exactly what they think of them. You can't threaten politicians. You can disagree with them all day long, but you can't threaten them. And to me, I see this as a threat. You don't do this unintentionally, and I'm sorry. It can't be. You'd have to be the stupidest person on the face of the earth. They don't get paid the big bucks and not know what they're doing. I'm sorry. I'm Artifacts Mars. Now I'm thoroughly riled. I better calm down. Sheesh. Thanks for watching.